Hey, what's up guys? It's Cecily from Drive Girl Drive and I wanted to share my craziest Uber story. It happened one night when I should have gone home. It was like almost midnight and I it was I was greedy. <laughs> I was really excited about doing Uber and everything. So I was like, I'm just gonna just drive late. Same old thing. You push through the moments where you know you should be doing something, but you do it anyway. And it's a pull call. It was actually one of the first pull calls I ever received. And I pick up two girls. Uh, these girls are, um, and for the purpose of the story, I'm gonna tell you their ethnicities. They're two white girls. Blonde hair, uh, the whole valley girl type of stereotype. Anyway, they sit in the back. Um, I speak to them, I say hi, ask them how they're doing. They're kind of like, fine, you know, like, they're over it. They're over it already. And I'm like, you know what? I'm over you too. So let's just hurry up and get your guys' asses home. So um, next group pull call comes in and it's these two Latina girls. And they're bubbly and fun and everybody's drinking. Mind you, my car smells like a bar at this point. And I'm like, <laughs> I just hope, as soon as they get, I'm like, I just hope everybody's on their best behavior because I know how women alcohol late night all that stuff gets mixed up into drama so um we're riding along i'm headed to the first uh group's destination and um the latina girls as i'm going to refer to them we're split up so latina one's up front with me and latina two's in the back and then blondies are in the middle and then on, on the side and i hear Blondie in the middle go, she's touching me. And I'm like, uh-uh, girl, like, do not. Like, do not start that shit. Like, we only have a few minutes and you'll be home. And, um, you know, I'm like, furthermore, everybody can hear you. Like, you're not invisible. And what makes you think that you can have this conversation and get away with it? That's what I'm thinking. And so I'm like, is everybody okay? Everybody's fine, yeah, yes, yes. Okay, so everybody's okay. Um, again girl in the middle I'm like <laughs> she's flabbergasted bothered fucked up because this girl's touching her okay fine so this young lady in the front turns around she goes you guys look really, really pretty where'd you guys go tonight these two idiots don't respond and I'm like it's about to go down I grew up in the hood. All of my hood notifications are going off. Danger, danger, retreat, stop acting crazy, you're about to get your ass beat. These girls think they're above it all. And I'm like, it's about to go down, seriously. Um, she turns back around, she looks out the window, and <laughs> I change the music, cause I'm like, okay, we need to turn on something coming, cause I want to get back in the back seat and fight this girl, but I'm not going to because I'm grown and I value my freedom, but I feel everybody's pain. I'm like, you know what? If I could get away with beating your ass, I would too. Just cause you need your ass beat. So this person right here, just out of nowhere, takes her right fist. She's sitting on this side, y'all, right fist and swings it wildly over her body almost hitting me but landing in the middle of this part of my seat and commences to beating on this woman in the middle so she's twisted body like you know like a side plank yoga side plank body twisted wedged in the middle her girlfriend jumps in these two go at it and there's nothing but hair hair and fists and screams and hot breath and alcohol and dreams uh, deferred, despair and everything. And I'm like, forget this, pull over the car, hop out the car. And I'm like, if y'all don't stop this curse word, curse word, I'm gonna call the police on all of y'all. And I'm pissed off. Cause I'm like, you know what? God damn it. I didn't want this shit. I just wanted to take somebody home and get the hell on. You know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't need this tonight. Dang it. So they stopped fighting. And um, my blonde sisters are like, well, they started it. And um, so and I'm like, girl, you know what? You guys have ugly attitudes. How about you end your trip right now and you get another car? You're not getting back in my car. You started, you guys started this shit. You started this shit. You didn't hit anybody, but you made these girls feel bad. You, you even made me feel some kind of way. I don't need your energy in my car. And so I got back in the car with the Latinas. These two are crying hysterically. They're so embarrassed and all this kind of stuff. 
And, um, you know, I, I laid into them. I was like, look, I mean, paraphrasing, but for the most part, you can't just hit people when people reject you. You can't go around putting your hands on people that you don't know. You never know what someone has. That girl could have had a gun. She could have had a knife. Uh, and she would have been well within her rights to stab you or shoot you or anything because you attacked her. And my thing is, don't allow somebody's words or lack thereof make you feel some kind of way about yourself. How are you going to let these two nobodies make you affect your self-worth? You guys were nice. You guys were, were um, open to meeting new people. You were willing to step outside the box. I'm sure it was the alcohol. You know, or maybe they were just really friendly people. But it's like, don't let somebody make you feel inferior off of stupidity and ignorance. You know? And so they appreciated everything that I said to them. They appreciated me not calling the police on them, too. I'm pretty sure of that. They probably would have said yes to anything that I said. But I was just like, look, you know, I, I grew up with girls like you. I know how you feel. Like, don't, don't let people you out of your center you know who you are and if somebody doesn't want to talk to you it's like oh well I guess you missed out and keep it moving you know but yeah that was my first that was my first crazy crazy uber moment that was the first one on the books mind you next day I go to get in my car I mean there's blonde hair everywhere these girls must have had plugs of hair removed like it was if you have you ever had your hair yanked out of your head it is it is it feels crazy so I'm pretty sure that they were messed up, like really messed up. <laughs> and, you know, I never reported that to Uber. I never said anything about it. It's my favorite story to tell people when people ask me like, oh, it's a crazy super story. Like that's the crazy super story. Like, you know, these people in here looking in my car and there's nothing but just hands and hair and screams and hot, nasty breath. It's a funny one. Thank goodness nobody uh, got hurt, really, and really injured, you know, or, or that I didn't get punched in the face and veered off into another lane and, you know, killed us all. Shit, that's the kind of stuff that could happen. Or they could have thrown me my car, too, because they were all drunk. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying your week or your, your, the start of your week. And happy Monday to you. If you guys got a funny Uber story, let me know in the comments. Um, and if you've got, like, a channel, just, like, hit me up with a link and I'll watch your video. Hope all is well. Take care of yourselves. Take breaks and don't wait too <laughs> late to pee. <laughs> it happens. You know it does. Peace out, guys.